let square x denote the greatest integer function of x and we are all aware from greatest integer function then the value of alpha for which the function this as a defining structure you can see is continuous at x equal to 0 and related options are given as function is continuous it means that suppose fx is continuous at uh, x equal to 0 it means left hand limit and right hand limit and value of the function at the point 0 is same so if anyhow we can find one of limit from this one or both then we can easily find the value of alpha because of f0 is alpha so alpha is coming from here f0 is alpha and one of limit one of them either lhl or rhl we can find then we know we will know the value of alpha so left hand limit lhl will be at uh, zero at uh, zero negative is limit h tends to zero f of zero minus h and that one is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of minus h f of minus h is same as limit h tends to 0 sine minus h square upon minus h square and this is in square bracket and this denote this is denoting the greatest uh, integer function so what is minus h square in terms of greater greatest integer function means value of input the value of input never exceed minus h square means and we have to put we have to take value in integer integer and never exceed from minus h square as h is tending to 0 and we are approaching 0 from left hand side so you can consider near nearest point uh, or neighborhood point like minus half minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 so these are flux these are rational value so minus 1 is the least least integer integer which is less than minus h square so value of this one is equal to limit h tends to 0 sine minus 1 upon minus 1 and uh, keep remember this is not of the type limit uh, x tends to 0 sine x uh, upon x because here we are getting a constant not x for which we are approaching to some value 0 so never compare this one to this otherwise you will be wrong so this one is equal to limit we are getting minus sine minus 1 we have minus sine minus 1 and similarly you can find right hand limit but uh, we are done here as this limit is equal to alpha because of continuity so alpha is equal to sine minus 1 is same as sine 1 and minus minus will turn to positive so value of alpha is sine 1 so sine 1 is where in option c so c option is correct now I'm telling you how to find right hand limit also because our aim is not uh, to solve or find the solution of this particular particular problem but uh, how to find right hand limit right hand limit at uh, 0 so we are approaching from right hand side so this one is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h and this one is equal to limit h tends to 0 f sorry sine 
minus h square this is in greatest integer function minus h square again we are approaching h from right hand side means uh, 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 1 upon 4 1 upon 5 this will be the value so value of h value of h so take a square so 1 upon 4 1 upon 9 1 upon 16 1 upon 25 because of this is h square and minus h square will be minus 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 9 minus 1 upon 16 and minus 1 upon 25 so these are approaching negatively in other in another words these are approaching 0 in negative side so again value is minus 1 greatest uh, integer value of minus h square this is input is again minus 1 because of these value are near 0 but not equal to 0 so member of integer which is less than 0 is minus 1 so limit h tends to 0 sign again minus 1 upon minus 1 so this is again same negative of sign minus 1 so both limit either RHL or LHL is same and because of continuity we can easily tell value is equal to sine alpha